Hey guys, today we're going to dissect the sport of softball and how it relates to God. Um, Dot's here with me again today and we're going to talk about, you know, errors, mistakes, and how that relates. So Dot, as a player, when you make an error, you make a mistake in the game, how does that affect your approach to maybe the next play? Well, let's think about it in an even bigger scale. Think about the sport of softball. We're all different. I mean, you just read in one of the different passages we were studying that you know, of the body of Christ, we're all different, you know, a nose and a mouth and an arm. Think about softball, we're all different. You can field a ground ball and guess what? You got it, but then what do you do with it? You got to throw it to a teammate. Yeah. And that's what softball to me really reflects life because we're all different, different sizes, different shapes, different gifts, different talent, but we're all doing it for one reason only. And that is for the glory of the sport. And in our case, FCA softball and everything we do, all of us should be doing it for the glory of God. And uh, and so it's kind of interesting. You look at the game, but then you look at what life is really about. For example, who here has never made an error? Have you made an error? I mean, who here has never struck out? Have you struck out? Yes. I've struck out. Have you struck out? Hello? That's like life. We're going to sin. We're going to make mistakes. Are you kidding me? We're not perfect. I mean, that's why we need Jesus Christ. We're not perfect. But what do we do when we make an error? Sometimes we can fall flat on our face and keep making more and more errors. I mean, think about it. So what? You make a mistake and do you run and hide or you keep making them over and over again instead of trying to fix it? Right. So look at life uh, with sins that we make. You keep doing the sin over and over and over again and pretending to yourself it's not a sin. When deep inside you know it's a sin, you've got to get the strength. you got to get... Jesus to, to give you that power, the Holy Spirit, I love the Holy Spirit, you know, to give you that discernment to say, okay, I screwed up. Ask forgiveness and repent. Repent means what? To turn away from. Just don't do it again. And you know in softball, guess what? You're going to make an error again. Yes. And probably again. And just in life, we're going to make, we're going to make sins. We're going to, we're going to make mistakes. But guess what? We can be forgiven. We just have to ask for forgiveness and be really sincere about it and say, Lord, please help me. And you know what I've noticed is that in my 30 year career of playing the sport, I made fewer and fewer errors. Isn't that great with life? The more that we get into the word and the more that we give ourselves to the Lord, we make fewer and fewer and fewer mistakes or sins. Mm -hmm. And if we do quickly, what do we do? asking forgiveness right? right I think sometimes the beauty of grace people misconstrue it for something that you just you know cover things up with rather than like have coach just saying you know it doesn't matter how many errors you make it's it's okay but what God does he's saying you know I know that you're gonna make mistakes I know you're gonna make errors but I'm going to atone for those I'm gonna clean those up for you so that we can get better and so we can improve over time and you know it, it, it really hit me uh, in church this weekend too we cannot earn our way to heaven and you know, in the sport, we keep practicing harder and harder and harder. But what are you practicing for? You know, is it a scholarship? Is it for a gold medal? What is it? But in reality, what you should be doing is practicing to be the best you can be. And in life, the best person we can be that glorifies Jesus. There's only been one perfect person ever. And that's Jesus Christ, the Son of God who was here as a human in flesh. You know, to, to live what we go through and to say, I'm going to sacrifice for you because then you can have a stronger relationship with God. Um, but I, you know, it's the sport is so amazing. It prepares us for those things that are much bigger than a game. And I think that search for perfection would be just what the Lord has said. You know, the golden rule, do unto others the way you would want to be treated. But I love, I love to take it another level, the Olympic level. Do unto others the way Jesus would do unto them. Can you imagine to be Jesus-like? We'll always fall short, but whoa. That's big. What, yeah. what a great goal to have. That's big. Um, definitely. So there are so many things. I know we've talked about a lot of topics before to, that relate from the sport to our walk. Um, so definitely, I mean, think about those things while you're playing. I mean, God gives us these opportunities to grow in the spirit, grow in his word. 
while we're doing something that glorifies Him. So enjoy the sport. I mean, love the sport because God's given it to us as such a gift. And there are so many lessons that we can take from being a softball player back to our walk with Christ. So don't let those pass you by. Make sure that you can definitely notice where God is because He's always present and He's always with us, even on the field. So God bless. Hope you guys have a great week, and we'll see you next time.